Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today in our super simple Etsy SEO course, could I have named it anything? Harder to say. We're going to be talking about your titles, okay? And if you'll remember in the last time we talked, to be found in Etsy search, you have to have keywords, which are just words. They could be either just one word or a phrase in either your titles or your tags, okay? So we have 140 characters to use in our titles. So every one of the words we use there is going to be an opportunity for us to show up in Etsy search. So that's amazing. That's a lot. Let's get started. One last thing before we start, because I don't want to get anybody um, confused later. Our listings will show up in Google search, and I believe that you can only see the first 70 characters in Google, but that doesn't matter because most of the Google search results are for um, Etsy overall categories. Occasionally your result will show up in search, but if Etsy's going to give us 140 characters, I'm going to use it. Now I have heard off and on that you should only use five words or three words or whatever. What I would say is you want your first words to be accurate. So say we're looking up a picture frame, right? What you want is when you're found in cert, you know, custom acrylic frame, that's very understandable. Palette sign, that's not a frame. I don't want, I mean like that is not a picture frame. Daddy's Sidekick's picture frame, right? So you'll see all the top ones have frame in the first, I'd say maybe three to four words. So make sure you get what it actually is at the very front so when people are doing searches, they can see um, that your item is what they're searching for. Okay, so I'm going to show you two different shops so the first one is caroline and company and this is karen and she has said that i can absolutely use her shop for a review and this is tracy and she's um she's pretty advanced seo or herself so i'm going to use her items as an example so you don't just see my items through the whole thing all right, so let's look at a listing from Karen's shop. So this one says personalized five by seven frame. There it is. Personalized five by seven frame. So in Etsy search, the only thing that Karen could be recognized for from her title is if somebody types in personalized frame, five by seven frame, you know, that's the only thing she could be found for in search because those are the only keywords that she used. All right, now let's look at one of Tracy's and she has this beautiful beaded necklace and this is her title and she's used all the spaces in it. So let's take a peek at Tracy's title and see what keywords she could be used, be found for. Vintage 1950s Trafari cube bead choker necklace, multicolored square plastic beads. So she has bead and beads. So she has the plural and the singular chunky necklace. So this is her first duplicate. Lucite cubes, cube and cubes are, are, they tend to show up in search the same, but sometimes they don't. So that's amazing to use that. Green, amber, black, and white. There you go. So she has the chance to rank for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 words. And Karen has a chance to rank for three. So that's a huge difference. And don't worry, we're not just picking on Karen. She said she wanted help. And so like most of you that are just getting started, she could use some help. We're going to SEO her title for her. Um, together. So that's, I mean, th that is just such a stark contrast um, from Tracy's Viva Terra Boutique. Now, um, 
Karen did do this one, which is a little bit better. So we have personalized hand painted, right? Hand painted, baby gift baptism, christening, first communion cross. Now this is probably pretty functionally what it is, right? But we could do pink, we could do green for girls, for baby girls, for um, any of that ceramic, right? Um, so there's lots more she could put in there, but I just didn't want you to think she didn't know how to do it at all because she kind of knows how to do it, which maybe you too. Okay, let's keep a track of our um, things, and we're going to be SEOing this one listing. So personalized five by seven frame, and it looks like you can do either pink or light blue. Perfect, pink or light blue. So number one thing I would say to Karen, and this isn't... Um, this isn't uh, SEO, but I would have more than one picture, right? I would have a picture of the blue one. I would have a picture of the pink one. I would have a lifestyle picture, meaning showing somewhere. I would show the back of it. People want to know, how do you hang it on the wall? Does it sit on the, the tabletop? I would maybe put the side. I would do a close-up of the hand painting. I would do all of that stuff. So she needs to have more pictures. We get up to 10 pictures. Sometimes I can't. I mean, on a postcard, it's really hard to get 10 pictures, but, um, but I do try. Okay, so now we're going to go with um, how we're going to find out what keywords to use to help Karen SEO her, her frame better. So we're going to start, and we're just going to go to Etsy, and we're going to say picture frame. Picture frame, right? Because that is functionally what it is. So we're going to say picture frame. Picture frame. Nice. All right. Easy peasy. Nothing to be scared about. Okay. So we have picture frame 8 by 10. We have picture frame 5 by 7. So we're going to say picture frame 5 by 7. And let's make sure we have it the same way. Oops. They have it in search. So they do have, nope, there's no spaces between the five by seven. So we need to get those spaces out. So they want it to be five X seven. Now we know that's times, but in computer talk, that's, those are just letters, five X seven, right? So picture frame five by seven. That's our very first keyword phrase, right? All right. Now let's see what else we have. Collage, it's not a collage, it's not those sizes. Personalized, so we can say, and I think if it's there, personalized picture frame, personalized. Now we need to be careful if you're overseas selling, sometimes you guys will have an S in here where we have a Z or a Z where we have S in the United States. If you're selling to the United States, make sure you keep a track of whether it's S or that. And then picture frame for both boyfriends. So we're going to drill down here, clicking on this link, to personalize picture frame. Personalize picture frame baby. Okay, so this seems super, super appropriate for a baby, right? So we're going to say baby. And then I know that we want baby boy, baby girl, right? Because we have pink and blue. So let's go ahead and put pink and blue in here because we already know that that's factually correct what the colors they are. All right, let's keep going. So picture frame baby family. It's not a family. It's not a boyfriend. It's not a dog. It's not a grandparent. Let's see what picture frame grandparent is. See, picture frame grandparent is for grandparents to get pictures of babies. And it's also for grandparents. So I would, um, and this is just a little, we're going to, we have to cross lines. I would definitely put that in my tags. I wouldn't put it in my title. But for Karen, I would put it in your tags. Okay, so where are we now? Uh, so let's do picture frame baby. And then we ran out of blocks, darn it. Okay, so now we're going to see first year. So I think the first year one is very um, specific, right? Um, and also, 
I might almost move baby down a little bit because I think it would work for a baby or a toddler or a child, right? It's very, it's very um, young person centric, but it doesn't necessarily, like I don't want them to see baby right up front and to have a boy or a girl um, and then to think it wouldn't be good for them, right? So now let's keep looking. Do we see anything else? Personalized, custom. See, I think a lot of people do not understand that personalized and custom are, are different or not different. So I would definitely put custom. That's going to get her more opportunity to show up in the search if they're looking for custom. Um, oh, we also know that it is hand painted. Now, if we start running out of words, then we can start thinking of things. But we still have 46 letters. We have all the words in the world. Okay, so name, name. Who didn't even think about that. Name. Okay, so it's his name. Name. Excellent. Okay, let's keep going. Birth announcements. I don't know if I feel like it's birth announcements. Custom frame. Baptism. That's a good one. New baby girl gift. So if we do baptism gift, and we're going to move name over here, right? Name. And we're going to have baptism gift. We could have christening gift which she always ha already has, Christening gift. She already has in her tags, but we didn't get to see those today because we're just working on the title. Okay, baby picture frame, birth announcement. See, I think when we do announcement, they're, they're looking for that 8 pounds, 20, 8 pounds, 20 ounce, oh, 20 inches was like, Eight pounds, 20 ounces is nine pounds, four ounces. Sorry, I got distracted. Okay, personalized, personalized, personalized. Okay, I, mm, it's ceramic. Do we want to put ceramic in there? Because I think somebody somebody looking for a um a wooden frame wouldn't want a ceramic one and if you're looking for a ceramic one let's see what that does to our search okay personalized picture frame okay so if we're just looking for anyone that's 41,000 ceramic 202 so that's excellent. And those all look very much the same. And let's see if hers shows up. There it is. So she's she's on page one out of 200. Um, so that's not too bad. So she's she's showing up for that already. All right, let's see if we can figure out anything else. Let's go to boy, boy picture frame. Okay. Gender reveal. I mean, I think she could do a project product that's gender reveal. Um, Nana's boy, that's for grandparents. It looks like, um, grandparents really like to have picture frames that call them out. Something to think about. Product development. Keep in mind, while you're doing this, you could also be doing product development. Okay, so I'm not getting anything else. Um, you could, now I'm trying to keep this, let's say under 20 minutes. Um, but you could just go down every single one of the rabbit holes and continue to find things. But I'm going to use a tool called Marmalade. Um, it's a search tool, and I use it every time I do my own listings. Uh, it is a small cost. I think it's like $20 a month. 
But if you're going to be doing SES, Etsy SEO, you definitely want to at least think about doing it. So we're going to do picture frames. All right. And then we're going to be able to get some information about um, keywords. So the reason I use it is because I'm, I'm super busy and I'm also don't want to sit there and do um, so much research. So they say it's not long tail, which is fine. We know it's not long tail. Long tail meaning um, like it's a standard word. Picture frame is a standard word. So we're going to do different ones. So picture frame, photo frame, oh my goodness, right off the bat. Um, so we got photo. Now, remember, we can kick some of these ones down if we decide that they're going to be better for tags. If we find good ones, now we don't have frames either. So I would put frames, the plural in the tag, GIF, rustic, personalized, custom, home decor. Home decor is always good, but I think you get that with your tag, with your um, category. We'll have to look tomorrow when we do tags. Oh, okay. It's already doing it. Wood, rustic personalized gift handmade we do not have handmade now you will get handmade when you do this who made it um but what that's saying is that people have handmade so okay here's another thing that we could do so we have a question i'm going to open this in a new tab so we don't get lost so which is more darn it <laughs> we gotta do it this way okay so handmade, handmade, hand painted. Now I want to know, now I'm getting a little bit, um, now I want to know which is getting more search volume and Marmalade will help. So when we're doing it the other way, we can kind of extrapolate, we can kind of guess, but when you use Marmalade, Marmalade, um, you can get exactly. Okay, so handmade. Okay, whoa. So hand painted gets 270 searches ish a month across the whole thing. Handmade is killing it. So we are going to trade this for this. I think we could leave painted, but we're going to put handmade painted. <gasps> I'm minus one. Not to worry. I'll just take out one of these commas, right? So then I would take out a comma. And, and if it was my product, I would be going down through where I like to take my time to really search is to do those finessey things. Like, is it better to have um, baptism or christening if I, have to, if I have to make a choice? So let's check that. You know, because once you start running out of, you thought you would never get to where you would run out of words, but eventually I run out of words. Um, the ability to have words. Okay, so baptism is the best so far. New baby's going to be, oh, I thought new baby would be huge, but baptism, people are looking for baptism presents. So that's really important. So we want to put baptism I would, I would, I like it. I think we have a really good solid um, title here that she could use for this picture frame. And we've done a little bit of finessing. I'll leave links to everything below um, and a little description maybe of, or I'll leave a link to how to do it, to a blog post with how to do Etsy SEO. Um, but hopefully that helps. Come back tomorrow. We'll be looking at our tags. If you like this, please make sure to hit the thumbs up. It helps me know what kind of videos you guys like to have. Um, make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more. And if you want to get notified tomorrow when I post the next one, you want to hit the bell so that you get notified. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.